Hello, I'm Susan Labiste. I'd like to demonstrate the use of a digging stick and soap root plant. Uh, throughout California, digging sticks were used. They had various shapes and lengths. They're used for digging roots, tubers, corms, bulbs, underground structures useful for food or for other uses. And one of the things that could be dug was a soap plant. So I'm going to dig one up now using a digging stick. Now these can be used in a scraping motion, uh, or in this case, I'm going to use it more like a rock bar. In soft earth, this works quite well. Okay, I think I got it down deep enough. Let's see if I can pry up this. Here we go. So this is a uh, soap root. Uh, one big characteristic, easy to recognize it, is all this material that looks a lot like hair. Um, if you pull this off and you dry it well, it's an excellent material for kindling a fire. So your tinder bundle, if it has soap root fiber in it, is quite effective. If I pull off that material, you can see the white sort of a soapy look to this plant and uh, it's called soap root because this has a lot of surfactant in it and it's a, quite effective as a detergent or I should say as a as a surfactant as a soap so I'm gonna open this up a little bit I'll demonstrate how well it works as a soap I even get my hands clean in the process. Okay. Now, I have a tendency to be allergic to this particular material, not badly, but if I don't rinse it off, my skin will be red and itchy. Not everybody's sensitive to it, but I'd suggest if you want to do it, just be sure you rinse it off well. All right, now, besides being a good material for starting a fire, um, the fibers here can also be bound together and the material inside here, this white material, after this bulb is cooked for a long time, it becomes very soft and easy to remove. And that can be uh, put over the top to make a really nice hard handle for your soap root brush. And these were used uh, if you were pounding acorn and you wanted to brush it back into the mortar, they were used that way. And uh, sometimes there are other brushes that were made for combing your hair or brushing your hair. This root was also edible if it's cooked long enough, and the fresh pounded root could be used as a fish poison. And the cooked root also can be essentially a glue. You can see in this case, it's, it's um, the glue's been added in several layers to make a hard handle. And I think that's let's see, I think that's about it on on soap root. Um, just make sure when you're identifying it to find this material and. Uh, this can be two, three times as long. Uh, during the season, this plant will grow quite a bit longer, send up long flower stalks. Be sure if you're gathering to do it in a place where you have permission, uh, not in a park, okay?